the peer review what is the basic of the peer reviews and from peer reviews to the pub launch okay so if as you know what is peer review uh, let me start it with the screen show just give me one second yes so as you know the parties involved in the peer review system whenever an article is submitted to a journal is the society who is eventually benefited and there is a loop who can see who are involved in this process they pull from the author to the editor reviewer and publisher so there is a web which is around the society and where all the things of a peer review system evolve now coming point to point uh, i will take you briefly what is the type of peer review there is always two types internal versus external where internal reviews conducted by the editorial staff and external reviews by the experts in the field similarly it is of two types blind versus open in the blind peer review manuscripts are sent outside the general publishing or sponsoring organization for review by external reviewers but in the open peer review the that uh, identity is disclosed often authors are suggest some peer review reviewers from their field who are good and they can help in reviewing the process so if you know what is how a system works what is the you are the reviewer but you should even know ki how the manuscript is submitted what is your role and how you are a backbone of a journal so you know author first uh, filter he goes to many publications journals and he finds one suitable where he submit the article is submitted where it is by the editorial office editorial office finds that if it is with the within permissible limits or as per the guidelines so article is either approved for further or it is rejected from the editorial office now from if the article is approved it goes to the peer review where the peer reviews are selected reviewers can be one two or many or can be open and blind and they give the grading the grading is from the scores of one to 10 that is a quantitative or uh, he gives us some good comments be it good bad or the constructive comments to the author becomes the qualitative grading from here there are three scopes either the manuscript is accepted it is revised or rejected and from here it goes to the what uh, editor office from here it is either published or it is rejected after minimum may have two or three revisions or if it is extraordinary it goes to selected in the single revision so what are the quality components of the peer review reports what you send to this we will be coming to a discussion in the later part of this today's series but you should know that a good review is it should be relevant to the study reviewer should see the importance of the question that is asked in the uh, manuscript and the originality of the paper that is presented to the review and how many how author interpret the results of the study which is the aim and uh, objective of the manuscript similarly the author should know what are the strength and the weakness of the study that is presented to them the methodology if it is correct it is concise is it reproducible reciprocal as well as what are the weakness of the studies and at the same time if the statistical analysis is complete the p values have and the confidence intervals have been already put in the places and alpha and beta errors are taken care of similarly the next part comes to the presentation and organization where the reviewer sees what are the writing communication skills of the author the tables and figures are well labeled the punctuation errors are all taken care of and it is the discussion is as per the research and if there are any constructive suggestion he can be like in the data presentation or interpretation whatever is required then the structure so you know once he has a uh, review in the manuscript with the above points he makes the reviewer makes it concise to bear organized small summary to the editor where he goes on the clarity the constructiveness of the uh, manuscript submitted and the remember it is seen if the comments that have been submitted by the reviewers are constructive or it is the supportive the details theory the commentary if need any the fairness it is a balanced fair bias and knowledge of the manuscript in the particular area and after that the it is assessed by the editor for further work so punctuality of the review that is the timeline it has been published and the decision about the acceptance are taken taken by the editor office on the basis of the review report submitted so if you see what is the report of a review constructed of it constructed of the characteristics of the reviewer part if it is in the from same field or the another field the strength and the weakness the usefulness the relevance presentation timeline interpretation 
originality and structure of the reviewer figured because every comment of the reviewer is either going to moralize or demoralize the author depending on the type of the work that they have presented in the manuscript many of time authors do not show difference that between a thesis and a manuscript the paper presented or simply case report or letter to editor they just write everything on a single format and send it to the editorial office in such cases it is the prime uh, responsibility of the reviewer that if it is being skipped by the editorial office they should comment it on in proper organization and send back to the editor with the relevant comments so structures of the reviewer comment is the paramount important in such a cases now if you see what is the quantitative versus the qualitative review that is seen in the peer review at the innovative publications we usually have both type but in some cases the manuscript rating even 1 to 10 there is a fitness novelty creativity technical strength and language are taken care of and marks are given from 1 to 10 while the overall recommendations like it can be the yellow color the red color published accepted reconsidered or rejected it can be highlighted and submitted back and in the last a paper review report is prepared by the reviewer which include the summary of the paper the general comments to the author as well as to the editor and constructive criticism remember in negative criticism should not be done by the reviewers because it can demoralize the author for further making a mistake apart from that you know a reviewer should have some ethics uh, that should be followed by reviewing a paper the very first thing is the professional responsibility the potential reviewer should provide journals the personal and professional information about them that is accurate fair about their expertise including verifiable and accurate contact information like this they are from the rscc and they are doing the review for the orthopedics it comes around a misconception and it is not a professionally it is professionally misconduct similarly the competitive interest should be declared by the reviewer they should ensure you declare or potential com- competitive or conflicting interest personal financial intellectual professional political or religious because sometimes what happens the uh, manuscript is from a particular area and author do not like that area or sometimes the pharmaceutical company for this the author have written the paper the reviewer may be the part of that company or may be the uh, bias for that company so all competitive interest for in giving a paper should be uh, you are told by the reviewer in chief timeline is very important always inform the general promptly if you are available or you are unable so that it can be timely transferred to the another reviewer if you are not able to do it on a particular time the very next thing is the confidentiality refrain from using the information obtained during the peer review process for your own advantage or disadvantage or discredit other many times what happens a reviewer makes uh, uh, use the information if he is working on the similar type of paper for their advantage this is a grossly misconduct and should not be practiced and again as i told you the bias and competitive interest in view of the nationality religious political gender and of characteristic of the authors there or regarding the origin of manuscript or by commercial consideration should not be accepted at any cost and last but not the least the suspicion of the ethics violation in case the reviewer feels that any ethics is violated during the preparation of the manuscript or conduction of the methodology they should contact the editor directly and do not attempt to investigate on your own their work is just to intimate the editorial office that it shows some ethical violation and the best will be taken care by the editorial office so this is the brief summary how what is the role of the peer review and how it works but what happens for the peer review you know uh, you have reviewed a paper but then you think ki what will i get from it so how it helps the peer review in you and what is the procedure the workflow for which the review is being sent to you and how it works it's a natural question comes to the mind of the many reviewers for this suppose a mail is sent to you uh, dr dash 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 you have been given a manuscript to review and this is what i have just told you it is either you to accept or you to reject the review now from here if you see there are the two links in a particular stand from the innovative publication for a particular gender you can see you can accept for the review option from the this you will go when you click you can the web page of the gender where it will i will review and i cannot review you just read what is the abstract here if you think it is from your field you will say i will review you will save the status and from there uh that it will be the you yeah, the manuscript will be given to you you will review it and submit the decision to the editorial office now once you have submitted to the editorial office what happens next 
Now the next thing is you take the credit of the review, but how? Because every, every time you do a something, you are professionally doing good work for the not only for the author but also for you. For this, if you there is a problem recognition where the reviews come are submitted and they are accepted. So how do they are either they are the concerned journals which are with the problem of the web of science or you get a stand review set to the reviews at the rate problems.com. Remember the email address is simple reviews at the rate problem.com. I will show you the example. Uh, what is the review receipt before that? Any communication sent to you the general which has the uh, a manuscript name and the time where then you have reviewed for this regard with a thanks note is considered as a review receipt. And each review receipt must can must contain the name as well as the date of the review. And it should be in the standard English format. So suppose this is how it happens. I got a mail after the review. Thanks for reading the manuscript. I will get it and I will send it to the reviews at the publon.com. See, this is the reviews at the rate publon.com. Remember, this is very important. This email address. And from there, they will send me a, a response. Dear Dr. Lalit, your review number is this, this, this. It will take you around two to six, two or days to six hours to process your email. You can track your process on your dashboard. So if when I click on the dashboard, I will get like this. After two days, your review has completed and it is added to your dashboard. From that, my dashboard, if I click here, I will go to the my dashboard of Pavlon. This you will be tell later on how to be a member of Pavlon, what is the importance of Pavlon in later part of this conference. And from their dashboard summary, you can see how many reviews you have done over the time, the metrics from this review as well as your publication. So uh, how can you how can you do it? So how do I verify my peer reviews on Pavlon? It is by the general integration. For that, you need to endorse your general on Pavlon. So when you get you go to the general integration page on the Pavlon. And from there, you can just visit the website and endorse it. This is in the short uh, that I was saying ki how to do. And in the end, I will just remind my reviewer that whenever you are doing the review, be courteous, constructive. Your role is only advising, not deciding. Try to suggest improvement no matter what the outcome comes. Do not review work for those who you know well. Complete review promptly, typically within four weeks. Spend at least one hour on, on the review. Search for the related, especially the recent one before doing the review. Write as the report as you would like to be written yours and get in the end, must get the Pavlov's credit for your academic career. Okay, with this, I will uh, ask Nikita ma'am to ask another questions. And if any doubt, I can clear it. Thank you. Uh, I, I request you all, if you have any query about uh, uh, anything, then uh, you just ask your questions in uh, uh, question answer box. And uh, thank you, Dr. Lalit, sir. Uh, it's uh, uh, very uh, short but uh, beautiful uh, uh, tour for the peer review process. Uh, so my next question is uh, on uh, that uh, what is the uh, benefits for peer reviewing? So I would uh, like to ask this question to every editor here, to you, Dr. Lalit sir, and to publisher also. Uh, Mr. Rakesh Pandit is also here. And uh, I want to uh, ask this question to uh, all editors and publishers. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Manish Pandya sir wants to share something here. Hello. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate Rakesh, you, Dr. Lalit Gupta, Dr. Professor Ja, Muthu, and uh, office member Anshu for uh, elaborating this thing very beautifully. I am I am in every workshop, so I know the progress of innovative publication and the dedication Dr. Lalit Gupta is giving in in this process of Pablo and Orchi. The one thing I would like to say, if you are a reviewer, what you will get first is knowledge. You are updating your knowledge up to the mark. Because one sentence I used to speak in every conference that your prescription indicate your year of passing. Lalit sir agree with me. The knowledge we are getting afterwards is from only medical representative or some journals we, we just got read if we have got time to read it. But if you are a reviewer and if you are reviewing some article, you know what are the things people are doing. So first and foremost, forget about everything. 
you are updating your knowledge and today knowledge is power so if you are updating your knowledge then it's good second as uh, sir has rightly mentioned after reviewing you can edit any pablon so you will get the credit and you can see your dashboard is going up and up and up okay so that is the two thing i want to highlight that by making your reviewer you are getting utmost knowledge you are be with the path you know how statistic works because we learn statistic in psm in second mbbs then we yes, forgot sir. how how statistic makes then we know what is the p value how the ratio will work what is the cross angle what are the population in which there is false positive and by reviewing so many paper by just clicking sir has rightly mentioned you have to give one hour for the review but if you see if you are a reviewer you can see that this paper is not up to the mark so this is just a process of evolution of yourself you update your knowledge and you are be with the path and again congratulations lalit sir and ja sir for giving us very good knowledge about this pablon and rakesh congratulations for making this uh, our website perfect that thank you sir thank you previously message are coming and i am replying now everything is on website it take me little bit time to adjust because i am old is so it is little bit time to adjust that type of website but now i used to adjust and i got list of reviewers so i can just scroll up and i see the person who is liking this then we are giving for the review and they are reviewing once the review is complete website says reviewer has completed this thing so we can say this is active this is inactive so it's very good you can see everything on your laptop on your mobile so it's a fantastic thank you very much thanks a lot thank you sir thanks uh, for like your contribution i would like to say that most of the reviewers learns the how to write a paper only by seeing the author's paper many times they get the ideas and many times they get the what the part they are lacking from their knowledge and from there they are not only the up helping the author but they are helping themselves too yes apart from the academy they are learning something the more their uh, reviewers review the more they learn and the man better manuscript they write next time yes absolutely sir and moreover our ugc has told only 10% of plagiarism should be allowed so yes. more the review more the new knowledge we will get we will write on our own also better not to copy so this is what a reviewer get benefit when he reviews more than some three papers or four papers per month he will get to know about the depth of the subject what is new in the community so in that way reviewer will be benefited also and the same way they can get credits from pablons and they can increase their h index or said id also or said id also we be known to the community regarding what is the kind of research we are doing then one more thing is rg site that is research gate here also we can expose what we are doing so we will come to know the like minded people if i am doing a research in psychiatry i will know in particular subject in psychiatry for example hypochondriasis if i am doing some research on hypochondriasis then i will like i would like to know the persons who are doing research in hypochondriasis that's how we come to know about the other experts in that particular point of view to do in depth research on that and as a reviewer i can review more manuscripts in the social platforms that will also help a reviewer to get a better idea on knowledge about that particular subject in the research community and second most important thing if you are a member of orchid if you are a member of research gate if you are a member of google scholar they will just say today that there are few articles in which you are like minded people are there uh -huh. Yes, yes. So, yes, so every yes, day they are bombarding article on your head. So, if you yes. want or if you don't want, there are articles. So, your in, your knowledge will be upgraded every day. And sir, so there is one more advantage. More from advantage. the Pablon and Orchid ID, many of the good journals approaches you for the review and being an editor in the over the time. The more you improve your Pablon profile and Orchid profile, the more you get invitation from other journals. So, there is always a Uh, win win situation of your camp propagation in the institution for you sir innovative is offering uh, various courses and various uh, four year training program for the our reviewers editors authors and uh, it's helpful for our all reviewers it's uh, helping the global presence of peer reviewer community and uh, it's helpful for the career in work in uh, enhancement for the researchers and scholars Who ever want to build their career in the 
researcher. It improves the own writing skill in the, their specific subjects in the, the, which they belong. And it keeps us the latest research opportunity, health, value, and improve. Apart from that, uh, innovative is the offering uh, every article. So, when the reviewer the reviewing the manuscript, the reviewer is able to download their reviewer certificate on the portal only after completion of the review. So, it's you know uh, very helpful for the researchers. They can uh, update in their uh, curriculum. And uh, we are offering credit point for the reviewer. We have recently started this facility for reviewer because innovative is the of, uh, offering double blind peer review. And we are publishing 50 plus journals in medical, dental, nursing, pharmacy subjects. So we are looking for spot reviewer in uh, all subjects. So we uh, offer a credit point for the reviewers. And uh, I will show the details uh, of the credit point. If re one reviewer is the review one article, that is a credit point for one uh, credit point. One article review is equal to one credit point. So that's we are offering. And that's a uh, reviewer can get that benefit in the different, different way. So these are the benefit of the peer review process. Uh, do you want to share your screen about this or? No, okay, continue. Okay, continue. So, uh, Dr. Hanna, ma'am, uh, do you want to add your uh, expert view on this, that uh, why this is benefit for uh, reviewing, yeah? Yes, I also want to thank Innovative Publication because when I started reviewing, I was totally dependent on seniors uh, to guide me. We didn't have workshops like this. We were totally on our own. Uh, so it's really a great thing that you're organizing these and I encourage all the participants to please attend, attend regularly you will definitely take something back from each workshop you attend. And uh, it's a really difficult job to do a large number of reviews consistently well. And we've been doing this for years and we have never got appreciation or recognition for this work of review. It was all a backdoor job. But now with Publums and Orchid, you can show the world. I am consistently reviewing for these journals and I'm reviewing well. And you can get credit for this work, which we have not got credit for this far. So encourage all of you to help the journals get their recognition, get their indexing by registering yourself on Publons and Orchid. Thank you so much, Dr. Nikita. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, uh, Dr. Lalit, sir, one, uh, one of the question from our reviewer, uh, Dr. Mohammed Anwar, sir, uh, that uh, he is new as a reviewer. Uh, so, uh, what should uh, be my focus during review? As a new reviewer, what should be the focus of him? So, as we had discussed earlier, if you are doing the review, the very first thing is you should know how the review, the manuscript is written. Because it is the most important part of your part. If you go, you will see that apart from this, you can have a lot of things where you can see uh, the manuscript, the statical, how it is done, the methodology, the introduction and from here the as Sir has told uh, Dr. Manish Pandya you can know how the what is the plagiarism and how it is taken care of so it not only helps to know understanding of the subject but also to help in your further writing this is the and you as more as you review the more you learn from this uh, thank you sir sir one more question is what is the minimum requirement uh, or the qualification to become a reviewer name of uh, reviewer who asked this is uh, this is the question actually uh, please reply sir so the thing is that for being a reviewer you have to be at least post grade student you must have passed if you have been doing the senior residency do you can be a reviewer and once you have crossed all the stages of the reviewer you have worked for years and you know how to do a review and take a decision later on from the senior resident to as you become consultant you go qualifies for the editorial board member uh, uh, one question is from Dr. Ajay. Uh, he wants to know about the training uh, for the reviewers uh, and uh, this uh, details. Uh, so uh, we are constantly coming with this training with our associated uh, uh, academic partners uh, that is IESRF. 
so we will definitely share this all information with all of our reviewers editors and uh, authors constantly so please uh, stay tuned thank you uh, so in the same series uh, dr vinod sir do you want to share some of your expert uh, opinion on this uh, okay dr vinod sir okay so we move on the another question uh they uh, this is uh, uh, to all panelists that uh, uh why it is important to involve our colleagues in uh reviewing process why you i mean uh, being a uh, academician uh you have to answer this that why you want your students and your uh, faculty your uh, colleagues to be involved in a reviewing process and this question i have already uh, i'm also asking to publisher uh, that why uh, an any reviewer can join an journal thank you over to you uh, dr vinod sir please would you like to uh, share uh, answer on this Oh, Dr. Manish sir. Okay, uh, Dr. Vinod sir. Nee, nee, I I will answer. Yes. First, first foremost thing, we we are doing residency program in our institute. We have got four DG student every year. Till date, fifty four student has passed. So, if if you if you make your grassroots strong, you can see since last uh, uh, one year, my all students has published papers. So all fifty four student has published one or two paper in different different journals. how they get involved in this review process if you make them read those paper they have got they have got some idea that what is going in the society how to publish if they know what is the path from here to delhi then they will go to the delhi if they don't know if they don't read paper they will read only gujarat samachar sandesh and divya baskar they won't don't know about this paper writing so you have to put seed of paper writing in those students so it is my request that you are reviewing the paper but you just take idea that you see this paper and now you explain what is wrong in it and if you if you ask there is there is a one very very good uh, whatsapp story that people had one, one artist had put beautiful painter painting and written a slogan that find difficulty in it everybody has find difficulty on next day dr rakesh rakesh pandit has gone with this uh, painter and he said add something in this painting nobody had added anything people are ready to find your fault aap kisi ko bhi bole isme galat kya hai to log 10 cheez mere mein galat nikal lenge yadi bole manish mein achhi cheez kya hai to koi nahi nikalega so involve them ki aap isme se galti nikalo wo 10 galti nikal ke dekhe spelling ki galti nahi idhar blocks galat likha hai idhar review galat likha hai acha nikalo to they you have to involve your all staff suppose i am head of head of department one paper come to me i just review then i pass on to my assistant professor and associate professor have a look on it whether you want to do this type of study or take something out of that and you put another study so get people involved and making there is a path then people will learn how to write a paper so it is better to involve everyone in your department in the review process don't disclose the name just disclose the paper only just disclose the Nature. abstract only matter only ye nikita ji ka paper hai rakesh ji ka paper hai nahi jahan pe likha the study conducted from this hospital delete those part then the bias will come just if you put a proper paper then you are putting seed in the resident in the assistant professor in the associate professor to write a paper so it is always involve individually we achieve together we excel wo aapse 10 galt wo 10 galti aapse zyada nikale और वही अच्छा है थैंक यू बहुत सही बोला आपने डॉक्टर विनोद सर वुड यू लाइक टू शेयर ऑन दिस सर यू हैव टू अनम्यूट रिपीट क्वेश्चन मैडम प्लीज यस सर question please repeat madam acha question okay uh, sir why uh, it is important to involve colleague uh, for reviewing 
uh, uh, to involve uh, colleagues in review, uh, reviewing is actually is we are helping them in uh, academically because we want them to grow. How long even we are, we should be continue to do a reviewing process. And we find anyone, one of our friends or known person or anybody, if they are very well versed academically, they are having a good track record, a good publisher or good researcher, and lot of uh, academic credentials are there. We can pick, or if they themselves are willing to join, we can allow them uh, in the uh, in the reviewer board. And we have to address or assign them any manuscript if they do, and they are doing benefit for themselves and also for uh, for the public. And it's also uh, helpful for them uh, for their academics because they are uh, they will be enlisted as a reviewer. In nowadays, NAC uh, everywhere asking where all you are involved, where you are associated, how you are academically growing, how together you are uh, uh, even your academic uh, is increasing. And so much things are there. So you are a good reviewer and you are allowing your colleagues to grow. That is also growth is taking simultaneously. Not only you are uh, moving your steps ahead in academics, you are also taking your friends with you. So you are helping them and uh, who knows you will be much better in future also. Uh, so it is also like a, you are catching the talent in them. That is what I can say. Nikita ji, we are Isa. not helping. We are not helping them as well as we are helping ourselves also. Exactly. Since last, since last yes, two yes, years, yes. two-way yes. process. This is the two-way yes. process. Exactly. Since last two Agreed. years, since last two years, we have made a custom that before sending this paper for review, make review in 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 house review. So if suppose I had written a one paper, I will send to my colleague. So this paper has came for review. Just review it. So before sending to the journals. They are finding few mistakes. Then again, you will send to the another. So you are helping them as well as you are helping yourself also. So your mistakes sometimes yes, you, sir, can, you cannot find your your own mistake, but somebody Agreed. else is ready to Agreed. find your mistake. Agreed. Uh, this is the in-house work on the reviewing, yeah. but uh, yes, but uh, being a uh, editorial close workflow, uh, we have to more uh, courses about the double blind peer review process and uh, Rakesh will explain and give light on this that how how people get involved more in reviewing process as in uh, yeah Rakesh please go ahead tell you what uh, you want to see the demo or what uh, no, uh, actually, uh, why people join you uh, or or any journal for the reviewer uh, as a reviewer? What benefit yeah, they get? Yeah. Yes, as we discussed, a reviewer uh, can get benefit in the if the reviewer is reviewing the article, he or she will get a benefit in the APC. If he uh, is reviewing the article, more than ten article, twenty article. So we have uh, we are putting the credit point on the every articles. Suppose okay. he reviewed 20 articles in a year, and when he or she is submitting a menu, any manuscript, they will get a, uh, their APC will be get a web off. They will no, no need to pay the uh, make the payment of the APC, uh, APC charges. Apart from they are uh, getting a credit point and a certificate also. Okay, so this is the rewards. This is the rewards which which be uh, which uh, the publisher is giving to the reviewer. So so uh, now it is not a more than reckless job which we are uh, always uh, uh, speaking about. That uh, this is a tedious uh, non-paid or non-rewarded uh, uh, job. So you get rewards on publons on uh, on in-house publishers etc. So you you just go for more degrees. And uh, now my next question is that uh, sir, this, this question is on the chat box also that uh, how I, anyone can become reviewer? So innovative is offering a join as a reviewer option from inopop.org. If any reviewer is uh, looking for the join, they can register as a reviewer and our editorial office and editorial board will check their profile and we will activate their them and then according to their subject specialization we will send a manuscript for re review apart from that uh, reviewers uh, editors have the option 
when they will be uh, login as an editorial or editor in chief or editorial board member login there is a option to join uh, invite a reviewer so any editors if anyone is looking for the join or they are known they can send invitation for join as a reviewer and uh, we will accept them okay uh, dr lalit sir uh, uh, just like few people say even i'm not much uh, pretty sure about this that uh, um, Nita, in dr manish panda sir uh, want to say something yes sir unmute yourself first nikita ji and rakesh ji this is very good that now we are getting opportunity that people want to send become a reviewer imagine yes. the situation imagine the situation when we started the journal <laughs> You have to request people to become a reviewer. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. You see, now, now this is the growth of innovative pub. So we have to uh, say sir, now you uh, become reviewer. For every journal, journal, for every general, there is a uh, whatever the general is from any publisher. This is the phases of the journals. Yeah. So uh, all of my, most of the generals of innovative is now entering in the ninth year of their uh, uh, age. So uh, the number of uh, reviewers oh. are associated with every general is a huge, and the editors also have a good choice that to whom they get involved in the reviewing process actually. So uh, what? Uh, but what we want to be that uh, people get more involvement. Like, like sometimes our reviewer. Doctor, Doctor uh, um, uh, Lalit sir is here. Doctor uh, Kumar sir is here. He is sending sometime a single manuscript to three, four reviewers for getting their expert uh, opinions. So why? Because there is a number of reviewers and options are there. So it is a two-way process. They also get to get involved and uh, get new information about the subject area. And uh, editors also have a big scope to uh, make. this peer review double blindly very successfully so they are, yeah, i am totally agree with you that uh, this is the good phases now that uh, number of reviewers wants to join us and uh, uh, we we welcome everyone to be review even in future uh, we also plan to be uh, get an open reviewing procedure also uh, rakesh had shared his screen right now uh, yes rakesh yes, do you yes, want sir. to say something Yeah, this is the benefit innovative offering. These benefits for the okay. reviewer, as we all know, reviewing the manuscript is a time-taking process for reviewers. However, it's uh, fully uh, becoming a reviewer. It's take benefit among the others. Innovating maintain high quality standard for the published paper. Reviewing a manuscript is unseen and unwanted, uh, unawareness task. the benefit we are offering as reviewing eligibility for the reviewer certificate considering the journal outstanding reviewer award improve the your own writing skill peer review is a essential role for and the researchers helpful in career enhancement global presence in the peer reviewer community eligible eligible for the reviewer credit point and uh, these are the point we have decided If any reviewer is uh, reviewing the manuscript, if one or five review, the yeah, reviewer is getting uh, credit uh, digital certificate. If he or she is reviewing six to ten review, five credit point we are giving, and ten to twenty five review, twenty credit point giving, and similarly, if any one is reviewing fifty plus article. he or she is eligible eligible for 16 credit point reviewer credit point plus additional incentive plus reviewer award and momento and credit point is offering the one credit point value is 200 and for joining of the reviewer anyone can join for them inopop.org so these are the steps uh, we are offering credit per point and we will update uh, on the reviewer panel also what about the credit point we are offering very soon uh, we will update on the credit point and uh, reviewer can claim their credit point on their dashboard on website yes welcome welcome steps sir great yes. thank you thank you sir uh, so 
yeah so this is the uh, um, i mean uh, 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 benefit of reviewing uh, one more question on the uh, chat box that what is the most crucial and important part of review process uh, dr uh, kumar sir what is the most crucial and important part of review process me it's uh... Uh, oh, uh, important part as such there is no everything is important if you ask me you are in a reviewing nothing can be uh, sidelined and nothing can uh, nothing can be ignored every point from right from the abstract to the reference even that uh, integrity of the work and content of the work quality content meritorious content of the article even conflict of interest the ethical part every part is important as says there is nothing called because paper can be rejected in any points nothing is uh, is that because what we want the published uh, uh, the 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 art, the manuscript that the draft which is going to be open for public domain in the form of publication we need to checklist everything everything should be refined it should be filtered when you give to reviewer it is nothing that uh, something can be hidden in a best possible way we should bring out the uh, qualitative content for the dissemination of the public so for the public knowledge or for the public purpose for the society so as such there is nothing every point is very important is there is nothing like that this point is unimportant that point is unimportant uh, great great uh, there is one checklist which is available on our website also during the reviewing process even uh, uh, dr lalit sir gave a light on that checklist as as your question is what is the important part of review process and dr kumar said that every aspect is very important dr lalit sir shared the checklist overview on the review uh, over yes. to you sir Uh, thank you, Doctor Manoj sir. You have rightly said every part of the manuscript is important as the reviewer point of view. But whenever a reviewer is doing, and they should know what point they should check while doing the review because your their time is very important, and time is precious. So I would like to tell them few points that are very important for them. From my point of view, whenever a manuscript is presented to you, you first go to the title of the text. And see if the title reflects the main subject, hypothesis of the manuscript, or the title is it complete or incomplete. Like it is a retrospective, prospective, randomized cohort. What type of study is that? If it is mentioned in the title, yes, then go to the next second step of the abstract. Is the abstract is summarizable and the word described in the manuscript is reflected in the abstract? Yes. If the abstract is as per the general guidelines, if there are definitive number of the words. And it applies for the if it is open or closed. Keywords, if the keywords are the real match words that shows on something about the importance of the topic that you have uh, discussed in your abstract. And coming to the background, does the manuscript adequately describe the background, the present status, and the significance of the study? And here it becomes very important the aims and objective to be mentioned in the background from methodology. Does the manuscript describe the methods like experiment, data analysis, surveys, surveys, clinical trials, or whatever you have done in your uh, for your manuscript in details? Are the study materials are sound, appropriate, reproducible, and is the statistical analysis appropriate? The p values are mentioned at proper places and wherever needed, the correlation and regression analysis is done. Are the results objectives achieved by experiments used in the study? They are accurate. The results are in coherence with your methodology. If the manuscript meets the requirement of biostats, and if it is that, you should know the basics of the biostats while reading a their paper. And the most important part comes the discussion. Does the manuscript interpret the findings adequately and appropriately, highlighting the key points concisely, clearly, and logically? Are the findings and their applicability relevant to the literature stated is clear and in a definitive manner? Is the discussion accurate? Does it discuss the paper scientific significance and the relevance to the clinical paper sufficiently? Have the results been considered and they are compared with the previous studies? And if there is some deviation from the previous study, they should be discussed in detail. Coming to the illustration and tablets, are the tab figures, diagrams, tables sufficient? Are they are of good quality and uh, appropriately illustrative the proper paper content? Are they corresponding with your results? the figures are accurate the labels are done with the arrows 
and uh, where have been better legends put uh, below the illustration. The most important part that people often miss is the reference while reviewing. Is the manuscript is cited appropriately with the latest important and authoritative references in the introduction and discussion sections? And remember, sometimes the reference number do not match with the manuscript. So reviewers have to see at least the references are in the proper. They are in the proper Vancouver style or the accepted style by the journal, and their number correspond with the text in the manuscript. And finally, when they decide, they should decide on the quality of the manuscript, organization, and presentations. The research method and reporting is of interest for the community for which it has been reproduced or sent to the publication. Is it under the scope of the journal? And finally, or most important, as I told you, the ethics. For all the manuscript authors must submit their related formal ethical document if they are available from their local ethical guide, uh, the, this committee, the review committee, and does the manuscript meet all the requirements of the ethics? So in the nutshells, from the every point, they have to go it and they should know what is the important for them. This is the nutshell is the whole checklist that we have uploaded on the Inopop website. Any reviewer can go there and they can check their manuscript that they have received with these points. It is just an add to them because the final decision has to be taken by the reviewer on the basis of their experience. Thank you, sir. Uh, Dr. Hana, madam, do you want to add something? Yeah, uh, I also agree with Dr. Vinod and Dr. Lalit that every part of it is important. But as somebody who has received numerous rejections myself for papers which I sent, I think the most important as a reviewer is, does this paper have to be rejected? Or can it be salvaged with some major changes? Can we somehow save this and bring it up to a level where it can be published? And uh, if you do that, look at it from that point as a reviewer, you are going to help some authors. You're going to bring up people in your field and bring about a positive feedback. Madam, more and more you get rejection, more and more you get improved. I had done lots of mistakes in my life. That's why I am improved a lot. So more and more rejection, you will get improved by yourself. And Lalit sir and Vinod sir has rightly mentioned that every paper should be reviewed like a very good 200 crore film. <laughs> exactly. Starting from title to end. Imagine the title which is given to Madhuri Dixit uh, series is Fame Game. Previously, the title was Anamika Missing. If you see the title Anamika Missing, then nobody will uh, want to see that uh, uh, series. But now it is a Fame Game. So uh, starting from title to reference, everything is important. So review that article as it is a, it should be a blockbuster film. So once you read that article, you will feel that now I will get something from this article. So that is the basics of every reviewer that don't review as a critic, review as a person that if suppose I had written this article, how many mistakes I had done. So get that person to rewrite the mistake or re-review the mistake and correct that mistake rather than rejecting them. Our purpose as a reviewer to help the uh, researcher to get improved by itself and how we get improved ourselves because somebody has done such so many mistakes from us. As you had yes. got more and more rejection, now you are at this panel and you are doing discussion. It shows that yes. you had improved yourself a lot. Okay. Uh, great, so never, great never get disheartened once you get rejected. It will give you more strength. More, uh, you, you will bounce back like anything. Uh, Dr. Jha is here. Uh, yes. Dr. Jha, are, are, are you here? Okay, uh, so my next question is actually it is in the chat box by Dr. Sanjay sir uh, that uh, I have seen few journals uh, don't follow the constructive corrections and criticisms of reviewer. So sir, what 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 is your uh, uh, I mean points on this? Actually, there are few journals, may be possible, but uh, uh, here we, uh, uh, in uh, uh, every journal, their editorial board is the decision, final decision making authority. Uh, so, Dr. Uh, Lalit, sir, would you like to say something on this uh, question that uh, uh, I have seen few journals don't follow the constructive correction and the criticism of a reviewer? See, what happens, you are not the only reviewer for a particular manuscript. There may be other reviewers and you have given us some other recommendations. 
it is the editorial office who sees which perspectives are more perspective and they are not demoralizing the author because if your your you are always your comments are always welcome because of the reviewers are the backbone of our system but in case there are few reviewers who have really appreciated the work with their positive response we are always giving the weightage and whenever you see the editorial office decide that this correction should be done we are always pass to the author there is nothing such like your your comments are not welcome the criticism is always welcome but it is only on the perspective way and in the way that it moralize the author to write a much better manuscript next time but not like the words like you are nothing good like you are manuscript is just a piece of the junk you should not like this positive criticism is always welcome and negative is never welcome by any editor of their manuscript and i think manish sir want to add something more on that no no sir you had rightly mentioned that we should in, in, in increase the confidence of a uh, author to make a good paper so advise them and not advise them like that that you are uh, you are you are just making themself uh, below grade you just advise them if you write like this it will get more effective way of presenting starting from title and and in my presentation i have shared one line always submit your report the way you want to write your paper yes and not in the way you are just degrading yourself just keep yourself and see if you were there how would you be writing that paper on so always put three fingers towards you rather than pointing one finger towards somebody else three finger is always towards you sir let's sir have one more question what is the conflict of interest in peer review so as i told you the conflict of interest as is if suppose the article is sent to you if you have suppose you have seen that article is done with a particular drug and is done by a manuscript and you have previously done on the same drug or you know the pharma company for which the author have done that work or sometimes you are doing yourself on the same drug or the same function so you think there can be conflict of you because you know the result preemptively and you know that you may get gain benefited sometimes you may get biased by the findings of the author because your findings were different and his or her findings are different in that case a conflict of interest may happen anything one else to be added Do, uh, dr kumar sir would you like to add something uh, regarding conflict of interest in peer review you meant to say madam yes yeah yeah actually if it is a conflict of interest uh, conflict of interest in research conflict of interest in peer review conflict of interest in publication or uh, joint but totally th these are uh, one tree but three branches conflict of interest a uh, peer review conflict of interest means suppose i know that if i am a single if single blind study single blind review is following our journal where i know the i know the reviewer from which institution from uh, uh, from which place and the name of the name of the uh, author i am a reviewer i got uh, but i am single blind i am knowing the complete details of the author at that time i have to declare conflict of interest because i know him i know his institution my manuscript my reviewing process may influence him influence in the sign if he is my friend it is a positively influencing if he is my enemy definitely i am going to reject so that's what when it comes to single blind study or open peer review process if uh, any i received a manuscript as a reviewer i know the identity of author i have to declare conflict of interest i have to i am withdrawing or else i am going to absolutely follow a meritorious because the primary interest of the peer reviewer is quality content of the paper secondary interest is not at all acceptable secondary interest is helping the friend helping his institution or they were once upon a time they were colleagues but when we are following a double blind review both are blind here i don't know he doesn't so that in question of conflict of interest declaration is not required for uh, peer reviewer here only single blind where uh, where uh, author is known to the reviewer at that time he is going to declare conflict of interest when it comes to conflict of interest in peer review conflict of in research is that is a different because the research outcome primary outcome of the research is for the benefit of the society so the principal investigator the what is his interest to get financial benefit and also for promotion for his company for institution that is a secondary interest but in con the conflict of interest happens only if secondary interest is secondary interest is taken over by primary interest so primary interest is 
the research should be beneficial for the larger part of the society not for a principal investigator or his friends or his ethnicity or anybody so primary interest second research when primary interest is always should override the secondary interest so that is peer review in research peer review in uh, peer, sorry uh, conflict of interest in research conflict of in interest in peer review means the peer review related to peer review i being a peer review i have to declare i have a conflict of interest because i know the author i may i may reject or i may accept based on how is the relation so that is different that is the second part and also author will also declare conflict of interest or author also will declare because my research work is for the society not for my benefit, personal benefit that is a conflict of interest where author is going to declare in a research paper at the end conflict of non conflict of interest because i am sole purpose of research is for the benefit of the society not for my personal gain my personal gain is little but society gain is larger large so, hmm. that is a okay thank you sir uh, one one of the question is uh, from dr harneet poor that uh, uh, she have two email ids on uh, which they will uh, she will get review of various journals can she uh, sync both of uh, the pablon account uh, any one of you uh, want no, no you can only use only one email account with the pablon and in case you want to sync you have to make a transfer of the one email to your another email so that you can send it on the pablon you cannot use both the accounts simultaneously okay uh, dr harneet ma'am you have to transfer your one email to another one and then you would send from the single mail um, I, i mean that is the single email should be connected to the pavlon uh, and the, even uh, i had shared your nikta there is a option for merge if you have two accounts you have created two accounts and the same person created two or three accounts they can merge them or if you mail them they will update uh, with uh, a single exactly. email exactly uh, it may be because i am not much pretty sure about that so i had asked to dr satish muthu also uh, at this point so we will come back to you uh, with this answer you please email us on our uh, editorial office um, so the next question is uh, from dr uh, khatib uh, this is Uh, for poorly conducted manuscript uh, do reviewers need to perform detailed review uh, which is impossible in some cases or general comment would be enough uh, yes dr hanna madam you you should uh, start on this i think that generally comments like poor manuscript are not helpful to anybody what is poor what is good we should look at each objectively and when you get a manuscript i think it is our duty as a reviewer to go through it and look at each and every criteria as dr lalith has shown we need to look at the title we need to look at the objectives and again speaking as somebody who has had a lot of uh, reviewer input into my own publications i would like to say that reviewers can really bring an article up like uh, some studies which i've done i have written the paper and the reviewers have brought out different points and said why don't you write it from this point of view why don't you add these things those were so constructive they really pushed me to the limits of my scientific expression and helped me to improve so as a reviewer i strongly encourage you to avoid saying things like poorly written manuscript it's of no use what is poor is the grammar poor is the study design poor is the statistics poor it just leaves you so depressed to get a comment like that uh, so try to be constructive as reviewers uh, put yourself in the author's shoes i know many reviewers you have published so many papers you are great researchers uh, put yourself in that poor author's shoes give some constructive criticism poor is not helpful at all in my opinion absolutely true madam everybody has started from zero so you know because we are gujarati we learn in gujarati we are thinking in gujarati we are thinking in gujarati and speaking in english so you understand how difficult to write a paper when it comes to an english situation once we had been a medical college we have got small book of surface anatomy and this much big of dictionary from gujarati to english so from there we had grown up to this research level so the poor poor manuscript is is not the word to be given back to the researcher 
you just give one article suppose uh, recently i received one article from a new researcher they had conducted one study on dextrocardia of heart and they had put some paper but it was not up to the mark so what i told i had given my paper of Uh, right ventricular dystrophy and said you have to make paper on this particular aspect then secondly they had again presented all these things they had put uh, figure recent figure then photograph of a person those who are living then then they are improving their cells so we have to encourage like them give them the copy this is the things this is what we have written and this is what we want then if you give something on a perfect format they will make it because they all are doctors particularly if we think about our journals of innovative pubs particularly all are concerned to the medical and pharmacy and nursing fraternity so the same same anatomy we are uh, dealing with that if anatomy is not different for nursing and anatomy is not different for pharmacy it's 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 the same so you give them the anatomical structure of your paper then they will follow like this suppose somebody has put head bound down stairs and limb outside So you can make that this is head, this is neck, this is limb, and this is the uh, lower limb. So you put your structure of paper like this. So we sometimes ra rather you are rightly mentioned rather than writing poor manuscript, you say improve your manuscript like this. We want on this type of uh, read uh, writing so we can read and we can review it properly. One more thing, uh, sir, I would like to share when uh, you are joining as a reviewer. Please subject update your subject specialization. It's when happen uh, the viewer join uh, specialization in some different subject, and we send manuscript to some different subject. So if the viewer don't belong to that particular subject, he or she can decline also. He I don't belong to that subject. So it is also necessary, and only if he is that subject expert, then he can review. It no uh, improve the quality of the journals. Okay, sir. This is now. This is not going to happen now because we had specified the every subject a different reviewer. Yes, sir. You sir. imagine I I got a reviewing article from orthopedic also. Then I have to write that I am not orthopedician. I am a gynecologist. So yeah, please. yeah. This this happened previously, but now yes, the system is improved. But nowadays we we'll make a perfect perfect website. Uh, now the system is improved. System now. is improved. Uh, so one one question is from Dr. Pooja Jain that how to register for Publon and reviewing an article. So Dr. Pooja, I would like to inform you tomorrow we have session on live demo uh, on Publon and Orchid by Dr. Madan Jayaraman. He is here today and um, uh, he he explain uh, all thing uh, on Publon and uh, Orchid live tomorrow. So please stay tuned uh, for this session for uh, on tomorrow. Thank you. madam uh, thank you dr madan sir we will waiting for you for tomorrow live demo on uh, on pablon and orchid uh, okay. thank you sir thank yeah you. thank you uh, so now now the another question is uh, that uh, do you think uh, systematic review and meta analysis uh, need workshop for faculty to be peer reviewer for such reviewing Yes. yes for this question yes we need to train the reviewers how to review a systematic review and a meta analysis it is a little bit tedious procedure but yes we have to give a detailed review how to look into the statistics what is pico guidelines what all they have included what all studies they have excluded what all databases they have searched for so many things we have to make the reviewers understand to look into that and how different is that particular systematic review from the previous published ones that is the main point yes. we have to that for example if i am a basically an orthopedician uh, for example if i am receiving a report manuscript on bmac on oene a systematic meta systematic review then i have to look into that whether particular review has been published in the recent years or not if at all if it is published then i have to look into how many papers it has been included what all papers has been excluded what is the pico guidelines formulated whether it has been registered pico uh, registered systematic review or not uh, whether the prisma flow chart has been added or not then finally i'll see what are all the variables they have included in the study 
and finally we have to come to a conclusion whether what is the main finding of the study which is differing from the previous study so on all these points we have to make the reviewer understand how to go about reviewing then we have to come to a conclusion what is the main conclusion from that systematic review or meta analysis because these two things are the creams of the research this will follow the level 1 recommendation for that particular subject so the reviewer has to be very careful in reviewing because this will form a very good evidence in that subject to proceed the further treatment modality or any further research so i would recommend yes definitely reviewers have to be trained for uh, reviewing meta analysis and systematic review over to lalit sir exactly you have said there is a work, uh, special workshop for the systematic analysis and meta analysis which involves all the criteria that should be told to the reviewers and these workshops are regularly conducted by their conducting agencies few of them are available with web of science and clarivet and in future inopo will also planning to start a workshop with the help of experts for the benefit of our viewers so if you consider a peer reviewing for a single subject is your hs hsc or ssc standards but you want to review the meta analysis it is a degree subject Yes. Exactly, <laughs> and we are yeah, and we are constantly working uh, to improve this uh, procedure. And in the same series, we are coming with the reviewer mentorship program. And uh, in this program, we had shared the, our uh, request to every editor of our journals to come forward and guide our reviewers. So we uh, we uh, we make some podcast on the reviewing process. says as well as some demo reviewing uh, and we can upload it uh, very soon on our website with our uh, uh, this program uh, reviewer integrity program uh, mentorship program and uh, we can update you with the different processes of the reviewing of the systematic reviews and meta analysis review also we can thank you for that so uh, the next question is uh, which application for plagiarism and grammar check so in innovative and inopub.org we are checking i uh, through i authenticate mr pandit will give light on this uh, rakesh uh, yeah can you explain which software and yeah, what we are, we are using i authenticate software it's uk based software and uh, product of a cross ref on major publishers like elsevier wiley springer medlo all publisher use this software and this is a recognized software from the international publishing guide as per international publishing guidelines okay and dr binod sir i would like to say something about uh, plagiarism yeah i would like to say a little more about plagiarism actually what are the software we are processing uh, turnitin i i authenticate or a free one version is a wiper they are only a, in a technical sense the they detect one part of the plagiarism that is uh, the words plagiarism of the words it is called a similarity checking report it is actually uh, actually similarity re reporting they check the authenticate i authenticate and also even turnitin when it is deposited in any digital format suppose most of the thesis have not been digitalized say if a phd thesis i suppose i sub submit to any university in india or anywhere if that university it keeps that in a digital format then only i authenticate will detect if they are not deposited automatically i authenticate even i stolen something from that words i authenticate will not detect so it is like a painting you are giving a robo to paint the wall it paints everything if you manually if you paint if something there is if you ask the robot to code two codes so automatically it two codes whatever it comes in the way it thinks everything is a wall but as a human you will see there is a window and there is a something i should not paint that there are a wires gone i should not paint there wires are paint that is a human detection so it is only similarity checking report it gives at i authenticate it even the language from uh, suppose japanese language german language you have copied and you have written it will not give and even most of the time suppose in methodology covid is there you include covid 1000 words covid is acceptable who it is a it is a word medical word so when you apply authenticate it says your 40% is 
similarity checking report so that is because in plagiarism methodology generic words even some medical terminology should be excluded even authenticate gives a 40 percent reports manually we have to check as a reviewer editor so what it is giving it is giving a covid typhoid uh, even uh, asthma all are it's showing red mark they are not plagiarism exactly we have to take those words whatever the words are there we cannot change so in a manuscript if there are all the words are about diseases your authenticate will say all plagiarism but it is manually you have to check these words are excluded from plagiarism even ugc says ugc says methodology is excluded reference is excluded even authenticate will show references also red light so that's what authenticate is one form one form it is good but not every form every form it is not good so it is a manual checking it is a reverse decision so even authenticate will not seek which is not digitalized any anything even turn it in also even wiper also so all the softwares have been made to check only if there is available in digital format see i am copying thesis which is not uh, kept in digitalized then also i am held for uh, plagiarism some university said this thesis has been submitted here he has copied it but i had that i <coughs> authenticate will not see only it sees only it is available in digitally that is the disadvantage one of the disadvantages like uh, we are playing with robo robot asking to pen okay uh, yeah uh, it says no iq wala the same thing right computer <laughs> have no iq so the software have no iq reviewer have to be check this all points too yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah so uh, one question is uh, from anonymous uh, and what about the confidentiality when you review sir uh, this is the again a conflict of interest uh, uh, yeah uh, what about the confidentiality when you review with colleagues and juniors uh, the research methodology and result being shared before publication whether author uh, uh, author credential may get uh, diluted when others also uh, doing same that's why it is important to show your community also there is review ethics for this one you have to see, follow that see that's so called uh, off screen off screen and on screen it is okay. behind the screen uh, uh, in front of the screen behind the screen he is talking so behind the screen i may be knowing but it is it depends on the person's integrity the reviewer should have possess highest integrity yeah already it has been shown i should not accept i am going to god i am going to temple i am praying i am praying with clean uh, clean mind i am clean heart so it is on the screen if author is identified on the screen identity if it is a single band author is identified definitely he has to go give a declaration if the off the screen it is not knowing means if he still is knowing but is continue carrying out his work then automatically it comes with the personal integrity of the reviewer if he is a plain person you should outrightly reject if he wants to help his friend then automatically even nothing is not nothing can be prevented here even editor cannot prevent and anybody cannot prevent here so what can the questions for hypothetical questions certain questions so uh, this is a depends on the personal integrity of the reviewer okay okay uh, thank you uh, thank you sir uh, so i i would uh, again like to uh, say dr harneet madam you are asking about uh, that uh, uh, you have two email id dr mutu had replied online here on my whatsapp that you can uh, use your alternative adding alternative id on pablon account you just add your alternative email id on the pablon account and then it will be uh, used for the both uh, uh, i mean pablon can sync the both of your uh, review on the same uh, uh, pablon account thank you madam so uh, now um, actually this is the, now the time is to wrap up uh, so so can uh, uh, my my uh, uh, every editor i would like to request to give two minute recommendation to the uh, reviewers what is your recommendation to the reviewers Doc, uh, dr dr asis jha is also here uh, if he is uh, here please sir you also share your recommendation to the reviewer can we start to doctor from dr hanna madam uh, thank you so much dr nikita 
Yeah, uh, to all the reviewers here, thank you for joining. And remember, it's a very, very important job you have as a reviewer. Society depends on you and your job. The quality of the journals depends on the quality of the work that you do. Uh, the articles are confidential and uh, you have to keep it uh, confidential like you would keep other, other documents confidential. And you have to give it 100%. Go through each article from beginning to end at least two or three times and be constructive. All the criticism you give should be constructive. That's what I would like to say. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Dr. Jha, sir, uh, do you want to recommend some points to reviewers? Oh, only a few words. Uh, and before that, I must tell you that today I have been a good learner and I have learned so many points, valuable points, which have been enumerated by Dr. Manish Pandya, Dr. Binod, Dr. M uh, Mr. Ra Rakesh, and Dr. Hana, and none, nonetheless, Dr. Lalit, and even uh, uh, Dr. Mother, they have enumerated. So this was a beautiful discussion because of my uh, associated engagement in, during this time, I was not there completely, 100%, but my ears were focused. Uh, what I would like to mention is that, as I have said earlier in the author's uh, program and editor's program, that any author should write a manuscript, leave it for some time in his drawer and look at it after a few weeks. He will himself be a good editor for his own manuscript. Similarly, here also, I will say, a reviewer can repeat the same and the lessons learned from Dr. Pandeya that share your responsibilities with your juniors, they get the training as well, and you get some, some revision, revision thoughts also how, how it has been done. So my, my word of uh, advice would be remain focused on the topic of reviewing it and remain honest as well. Don't keep on deferring it, cull curling it. No, because time also is very important. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, uh, Dr. Kumar, sir, recommendation yeah. <clears throat> to reviewers. Yeah, for, uh, for, for a river, foremost is uh, the professional conduct. The way he conducts while he carrying out the uh, research, and another thing is is a, uh, the personal integrity, and you should be very honest, and you should be well versed with the journal where he is associated and its guidelines, and also you should you should update himself. You should continuously learn because the world is changing. What you reviewed ten years back and what now you are in totally it is different. You should be updating with all scientific guidelines, but day to day. So that is our updating professional conduct and integrity. They are very three qualities which the best reviewer should possess. Okay, sir. Thank you, uh, Doctor Pandey, sir. Uh, thank you for giving me opportunity today with all of you. Thank you, Rakesh sir, and thank you, Jasar, sir, and thanks again for giving me award of commendable editor in last meeting. So, thank you. Two you things. fully deserve it, sir. Thank you, sir. So, you, once, sir. once, once I get a manuscript, suppose a manuscripts of uh, LDH level in PIH, it is there since years together. So, the level are changing. So when the, this type of paper comes, I usually see the literature, how they had formatted. So what are the, sir, you know, sir has rightly mentioned that science is evolving. The criteria which was now coming to 5th percentile to 95th percentile to 10th percentile. So you have to see whether the article which is coming to me is helping to the society, what is known and what is unknown. After putting this article in journal, whether my students, the learners or whether our reader, they are benefited with that or not. So that should be kept in mind when you are reviewing art. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, uh, Dr. Gupta, sir. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being here with us for the discussion. Uh, as I have told earlier in my presentation, the most important time that you are giving to a manuscript is your time. 
So yeah. utilize your time properly. You just go through the manuscript completely from the title to the reference and see what max you can give the to the manuscript. How can you help the author? Because the author needs motivation. So you should go all the points carefully and see what all you can suggest the author to help the manuscript much better for presentation. Because as I told you, the ultimate beneficiary is the society where your publication is going to be published. So just go through. Do not just outrightly reject the manuscript. There is always a scope of improvement. Just find those points where the manuscript can be improved. Uh, thank you, sir. So uh, nothing uh, moves without the checklist of Dr. Lalit. <laughs> yes, and this checklist is available everywhere on Innovative Publication website and in on innovpub.org also this checklist is available. Uh, Rakesh, do you want to uh, recommend something for our reviewers? Yes, Kirta. Uh, as you all, we all know, reviewer is the backbone of the any journals and without reviewer no one can publish a successful publication or any journals can't publication without the reviewer so i request to all reviewer please join with journals and keep your valuable input in the growth of the journals society and publishing house thank you thank you thank you all and uh, now one announcement is that uh, tomorrow we have a live demo on pablon and orchid by dr madan jayaraman and uh, um, along with that we have uh, to announce the name of base reviewers and in the same uh, thing i i would like to inform you all that we have uh, celebrate peer review week every year so on the for this uh, all of our journal website individual journal website just like a website of indian general of clinical anesthesia indian general of clinical uh, obstetric gynecology research indian general of clinical experimental ophthalmology every general website we have mentioned the name of reviewers on the website um, uh, yearly uh, yearly for for a week uh, we had mentioned this uh, name uh, there so uh, 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 this is during the peer review week. Uh, so uh, please stay tuned for tomorrow session live demo on Pablon and Orchid. And thank you all uh, for joining us today. Thank you, Dr. Jha, sir, Dr. Vinod Kumar, sir, Dr. Uh, Han, uh, Hanna, madam, Dr. Manish, sir, Dr. Lalit, sir, and uh, Rakesh. Thank you all. Have a great time. Thank you, Nikta. Nikta, yeah, I, the I would like to add on more thing. Yes. Uh, we, as you told, uh, we have earlier uh, all editorial reviewer board name was updated on the journal website. But we get a reply from indexing agency. He, your journal is a blind peer review. You no need to update reviewer name on the journal website. So from yes, last sir. one month, uh, we have uh, it's on we publisher. Yeah. Yeah, on publisher or journal website, we are not uh, highlighting the things. So, uh, for a week it is shown and uh, then it is not available there right so yes, yes. yeah mm, thank you uh, yes. so this yeah uh, uh, this is during the peer review week only and uh, uh, stay tuned for the tomorrow session and for best reviewer award uh, program also thank you all have a great time thank, thank, you. You. thank, thank you. you thank you thank you thank you thank you all of you thank, thank you sir. and under the leadership of dr ss ja i am i am seeing the improvement of the journal and improvement of the webinars dr lalita yes. dr vinod sir so this year i am very happy that every time i am joining the session i am getting something to uh, learn from myself so thank sir, you very much. Is so yes, important. Sir. Each sir, one is so country. important. Yes, sir. The your yes. contribution is very much yes. important for us. You are associated with the journals from Since 2014. Inception. Yes, sir. <laughs> Since <laughs> inception, I'm, yes, so I am I am also improving myself from two th <laughs> to nine yes, ninth year of my yes, publication. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a good great night. Good night. Yes, Take care. And Nikita, well done. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. you have Thank conducted you, sir. it so well. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. All Thank the best. You. Thank you.